Tails, the privacy focused Linux distro has released their next major version and I thought that the stars had aligned for me to make this definitive guide for your privacy and online security with Tails. In this age of massive digital tracking, online privacy and digital security are extremely important. Every website you visit, every app you open, your phone, they all collect an invasively huge amount of data about you. From your browser history, your location, your device information, your online habits, these big companies can collect vast amounts of information about you. This is done mainly for the purpose of personalized advertisement, to make money by serving you more relevant ads. But are you okay with someone else knowing where you went yesterday evening, what things you are looking to buy, who you checked out on social media? Some of these companies might know more about you than yourself. Are you okay with that? No, right. So Grasshopper, take a seat, buckle up and let me guide you through the zen way of going anonymous online with Tails. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you are interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the vEditor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will develop your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. Let's start off by seeing what exactly Tails is. The Amnesic Incognito Live System or Tails is a hyper privacy focused Linux distro that is designed to be run from a USB stick and leave no trace of anything on your computer. It also makes it very difficult for you to be identified online. The newest release, that is Tails 6, is based on Debian 12 Bookworm and comes with updated versions of the GNOME desktop, all the tools and a new software set. Tails 6 also comes with beefed up security measures. Tails, by design, is built to create a safe gateway to the internet and protect the user using various ingenious techniques. Tails protects you by default. The system is designed to be a safe computing platform out of the box. Multiple technologies like Amnesia, Tor and Encryption work in tandem to exponentially increase your digital security. But understanding these core features of Tails and how they work is absolutely necessary if you want to use this system as a safe haven. If you don't understand how to use them properly, you're more likely to commit mistakes and bypass them. And in this game, half knowledge can be extremely dangerous. So consider yourself warned. Let's get our hands on Tails and I'll explain things as we go on. Search for Tails Linux and head over to the official website and click on Install Tails. You can also browse around here for more info. This website is very well done in informing you about Tails as well as helping you get started with it. You can select your current operating system and the website will guide you on how to get Tails running using your current OS. Basically, you download the Tails image, flash it onto a USB stick and live boot into it. Detailed instructions on how to do this and which software you need to use are given here. I'm on Linux, so I'll download the Tails image, right click on it and write it to my USB stick. Fairly simple. Once this is done, restart your computer and boot into the USB stick using your boot selection hotkey. It can be F12 or F2 or something else based on your hardware. Google boot selection hotkey for your computer make and model. Once booted in, you're going to be welcomed by this screen. Here, you can configure various parameters on how Tails is going to work. Language, keyboard layout and few advanced settings are given here. The default settings are going to be just fine for most people. You need not change anything here and you will be optimally protected. We'll have a look at these settings as we encounter them. Starting off, Tails uses the Tor network by default. All your internet traffic by all the applications is routed through the Tor network without you needing to manually configure anything. And what is this Tor network you ask? Here we go again. When you connect to a website or a service normally on your computer or phone, your device connects to that server directly. The server identifies you using your device's unique IP address. There will be intermediate nodes here as well, like your internet service provider, your SIM card company, the Wi-Fi you are using and many more. 
Now these two have access to your identity and the information of which websites or services you're connecting to. So in this system, basically everybody knows who is who and everybody knows the destination servers you're connecting to. So basically, let's say when you open up the naughty stuff website, yeah, even in your stealthy incognito mode, your Wi-Fi owner, your internet service provider, your DNS provider, the website CDN provider and the owner of the website know that it's your me time. At this rate, they might as well announce it on the radio, right? Wait, do we still have radios? But I don't want to cause mass paranoia here. All the intermediate nodes that we talked about are automated systems and there are no humans involved here. So there is no human watching what we do on the internet. But if any human from inside these systems wanted to, they could look. With Tor, it's a different story entirely. On Tails, when you connect to a website, instead of directly connecting to the website, the connection is sent to a random Tor node. A Tor node is a Tor volunteer's computer which acts as a middleman. Then this connection is sent to another Tor node. Then that is sent to another Tor node. Finally, the last Tor node connects to the website you want. And all this traffic is always encrypted. So here, as far as your Wi-Fi owner or ISP is connected, they know you are connected to the internet, but they won't know which website you are connected to. The website you want thinks that the last store node is connected to it. It doesn't know that it's you and never gets your IP address. In this series of Tor tunnel network, it becomes extremely hard for anybody to track you. So yeah, Tails uses this mechanism by default, so it's extremely secure for online activity. On Tails, when you connect to a network, say using Wi-Fi, you'll see this dialog box. Quick side note here, if you don't see network connection options like Wi-Fi and see this error message, then you need to restart Tails and disable MAC address anonymization in the initial settings. Then you'll be able to connect to a network. Getting back, here the connect automatically option will work fine for most people. But if you have a potentially monitored connection like those in universities or corporations, you can use the hide option. Select one and click on connect to talk. Give it a few seconds and you should be good to go once you see this message. You browse the internet using the Tor browser here, which is a heavily modded version of Firefox. Expect a slow internet speed because your connection will be hopping all over the globe. You can see how your connection is being routed by clicking here and you can get a new circuit by clicking here. Then you can also get a completely new identity by clicking here. This gets you new random Tor nodes so it changes your identity. Now you can browse the internet completely anonymously. This is true incognito. Now there are some things you should know. Tor anonymizes your data. Yes, you are essentially getting a new identity every time you go online, but it doesn't make you 100% invisible. For example, if you log into your Facebook or Google account using Tor, obviously they are still going to know it's you. So don't use Tor with any website where you need to log in with your accounts, which might leak your personal info. You can use burner accounts though, but they shouldn't be linked back to you. Then, if you tell anybody your name and address like for online shopping, they are going to know it's you. So yeah, Tor should be used with extreme caution so that you are not leaking any personal information by mistake. Even with Tor, there is that chance of human error. Another important thing is, just because this system is secure, don't use it for anything illegal. I can't stress this enough. Tor and Tails are not meant to be used for illegal purposes. If you do and get your life spoiled or go to jail, you alone are responsible. Law enforcement agencies might have access to forensic tools and resources that can track you down even if you use these. Use Tails only to protect your privacy. I highly recommend that you read the warning article that I've linked in the description below. Alright, moving on, Amnesia is another great feature that Tails has. Tails doesn't store any kind of information or files on your system. Your browsing history, cookies, any files you download, they are never stored on the hard disk of your computer. In fact, Tails doesn't even use the hard disk. Everything is kept in the RAM and automatically deleted when you turn off the system. Because of the way Tails deals with personal data by keeping them in RAM, it becomes pretty much impossible to store any sensitive data on the system after a reboot. Yeah, if you want persistent storage, you can explicitly tell the system to save some files. Practically, we need that. Now these are encrypted by default. You need a passphrase so nobody except you can access them. To set up persistent storage, when the tail system boots up, turn this on here. Then wait for the system to turn on. Here, click on continue. In this screen, you need to create a passphrase. 
Then you can select what gets stored on the system here. You get a location called persistent, which you can use to store your files. Then you can also turn on persistence for browser bookmarks, Wi-Fi passwords, email client, messenger, and a few other things. Then applications you install will also be available across reboots if you use this. But you need the password to unlock this stuff when you reboot. If you lose your password, you lose all this saved data. So be mindful of this thing. With Tor and Amnesia combined, Tails becomes a truly incognito system. Once you turn off the system, everything is gone. Tails is not meant to be used like your general purpose operating system. You don't install Tails on your computer. Rather, it's meant to be used as a live system, booted straight from a USB stick. You can temporarily turn any computer into a highly secure machine using Tails. This is beneficial in many ways. First, when you're using public computers or others' computers, public computers or even computers belonging to someone else can have wires, malware, and even keyloggers and stuff that can track your every move on that computer. They can steal your passwords, credit card numbers, and can lead to bad actors accessing your social media accounts, messages, and even bank accounts. And it's practically not easy checking computers if they have these stuff on them before you use them. So when using computers that are not yours, you can simply boot it in a tail session using a USB stick. This gives you a completely secure system to work with. Now it doesn't matter if the computer has wires or keyloggers. Tails bypasses all that and runs independent of that OS. Here, you can work with sensitive stuff with peace of mind. Even for your own computer, when you're using public Wi-Fi's, it's advisable to use Tails to get the benefits of Tor. Just download Tails, flash it onto a USB stick, and keep it for use in such cases. You can even load up your personal files on it, which are encrypted by default. Tails comes with a set of applications and tools that help you to be more secure online. For starters, we get KeyPass XE here for password management. Passwords are a major point of failure when we talk about digital security. Many of us are guilty of this. Using the same password everywhere, using two simple passwords, using personal information in passwords, all these things make it extremely easy for bad actors to gain access to our stuff. It's very easy to break into your account using tools like John the Ripper. And many of these vulnerabilities come into play because we want to remember passwords. Using the same password everywhere, using two simple passwords, and using personal info in passwords makes it easy for us to remember passwords, but potentially very dangerous. But the cool thing is, we don't have to remember passwords. Enter KeePass XE. KeePass XE is a free and open source password manager that generates high quality passwords and manages them. You just need to remember one master password and KeePass XE will take care of the rest. It autofills passwords, keeps the passwords encrypted on the system. Yeah, it's got all the top grade security stuff. You can even share these passwords securely between your main OS and Tails. Then we get the Thunderbird email client here. Now Thunderbird is a very secure email software with built-in encryption, phishing protection, and remote content blocking. It supports all the major email providers and it's one of the best ways of using email on Tails. Logging into the website can be a hassle on Tails, so you can use Thunderbird here. Onion Share is also pre-installed here for secure file sharing. Onion Share uses the Tor network to anonymously share files. This doesn't rely on any third-party services. Rather, it turns your computer into a hyper-secure server and uses both encryption and the Tor network to completely anonymize file transfers. Tails also comes with a metadata cleaner pre-installed. When you take a photo on your phone, you can see the photo, but there's a lot you can't see. But someone who knows how to look will be able to see a lot more than the photo. The photo or video's metadata contains the exact geolocation of the photo, device and camera information and such. So when you share a photo, let's say of a product that you bought online, onto a forum, you are essentially giving out your home address to people you don't even know. And it's not just location. Files can contain a lot of metadata that's not visible to us at the first glance. Tails gives us the metadata cleaner that strips files of metadata and makes them safer to share online. All in all, Tails brings in the tools to have us covered from all the angles. As safe as Tails sounds, it cannot be realistically used 100% for everything. It can't replace your main OS. You can try though. But think about it. For stuff where geolocation is crucial, navigating, ordering pizza, Tor is going to make it impossible because your real location is never made available. Tails disables many things like the browser history, cross-device sync, geolocation, cookies, without which you'll need to literally log in every time you visit a website. Considering how many services we use like Google, its suite of apps, social media, and a lot more which requires to be logged in to use them, 
this can be a headache. Can you live without all these conveniences? And don't forget, even the storage system is vastly limited here. So I don't even recommend that you use Tails all the time. Switch to Tails only when you are doing sensitive work or using devices or Wi-Fi's that belong to others. Tails is a really suitable computing companion for journalists, activists and whistleblowers and even privacy conscious people. Just keep a Tails live USB with you and use it on a as needed basis. Try to use it for more and more use cases and you'll find your sweet spot. But I wouldn't even try to replace my main OS with Tails. It would never work for me like that. While we have discussed some of the limitations of Tails, I feel that I need to stress that Tails very strongly enhances your privacy but it doesn't make you absolutely invincible. So use Tails with caution and never use it to do anything illegal. If you do, you'll potentially end up ruining your life. Another thing here is, with Tails, you might have noticeably slower internet. Now this is because you're not connecting to a website directly. Tor uses three intermediate nodes to reroute your traffic. Your connection is hopping all over the world. So this slowdown is expected. As I said earlier, many websites require you to log in to use them. So you can see how it's going to be a massive inconvenience where you need to log in every time you visit those websites. Even web persistent objects like cookies do not work here. So that's going to lead to some websites not working in expected ways. The thing about Tails is that it makes super privacy super easy. You don't need to do a lot of configuring and setting things up to use Tails. It's secure by default. But yeah, you can mess up. Tails can't protect you if you don't protect yourself. I've already discussed some ways in which you shouldn't use Tails. The most important thing here is don't use Tails for anything illegal. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm being a one string banjo here. But that's only because I can't stress enough how important this one thing is. You can potentially ruin your life over this. As I said earlier, while you might not need Tails all the time, you know what, I'll let you be the judge of that. But I myself would not use Tails all the time. I could not even if I tried. But Tails becomes vastly more attractive when you're using public computers or networks or engaging in sensitive work that demands anonymity and privacy. It's good to know something like Tails exists to help out in these situations. The cool thing here is you don't need a lot of technical know-how to get started with Tails. Get Tails, flashed onto a USB stick and jump online. That's that. Alright, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel because I'm about to do a series of security focused videos that are going to help you upgrade your digital security on your current OS without using a different OS and stuff. It's going to be awesome. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 10 best lightweight Linux distros for hyper performance. It's got some really cool distros, so don't miss that. Right, this is Linux Techs, signing out. <laughs>